Down the street from the Powells, Kiersey Hillowell sat in a downstairs playroom, wondering, where is Susan? Then came the news. It made her heart beat faster, her stomach turn in somersaults. I just lost it. Nine o'clock that night, Jennifer told me that Josh and the boys are home, and I'm like, well, where's Susan? And she said, we don't know. As soon as I heard that he was back and Susan was not with them, I instantly said to myself, what has he done? It became like this game of telephone, where people were passing along these little bits of information, and suddenly, a larger story was coming together. He said he was out driving around. He'd gone out camping with the boys. And I'm like, are you a crazy man? It was cold. That is 100% Josh. He did that kind of stuff all the time. But Susan would have never allowed him to ever take the boys out in the winter to the desert in the middle of the night. Never. I never believed his story at all. was determined we didn't have enough probable cause to secure a search warrant for the residents, let alone book Josh into jail, because we didn't have any physical evidence. The decision was a huge mistake because he burns this metal object into oblivion. So thoroughly destroyed was this item that nobody to this day can say what exactly it was bags and bags of things are shoved into the garbage. Why would you do that the day after your wife disappears? The following morning, he is observed with the minivan pulled out of the garage, all the doors open, thoroughly cleaning it, wiping it down, vacuuming it. It was really odd to me because he was running around the house grabbing piles of towels and putting them in the washer and finally, we're like, you've got to go to your interview with the police. All right, I'm probably going to have to see if I can grab my notebook and I'll be right back, OK? OK. Josh Powell kind of has a uniform of sorts. It's typically a t-shirt, it's a leather jacket, it's denim pants, and it's dingy white shoes. When Josh goes in to talk to the police, in the tape, you see him initially acting very emotional. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even think it was that. I, I didn't, didn't even sink in yesterday. He's but. crying. His voice is shaking. I don't know where he's at. Gee, he's just you. trying to hold it together. But as Detective Maxwell continues to push Josh about what's going on, Josh's demeanor changes. Can you remember what we were doing? OK. <clears throat> so you don't remember what you guys did from 6 o'clock till you went to bed on Saturday night? I just don't remember what activity we were doing. Josh is not a participant at all in talking about his missing wife shows no urgency in getting out to go look for her. Have you checked any places where she could be? I haven't had much of a chance to do any of that yet. He asks police no questions about what they're doing to find her. At what places should we go check to see if we can find her? Beauty supply? I don't think she would be there, but she likes them. And he offers no suggestions, really, about where they might look. Okay. Let me ask you this before you go. Go ahead and ask one last question. How am I going to find your wife without your help? While I'm interviewing him, another colleague conducted a child forensic interview. Right there. Yeah. Good job. It's got nice light, huh? Pretty. We went to the Children's Justice Center, and they were able to interview Charlie. Brayden really wouldn't talk to them. OK. Well, what did you do last night? Go camping. You went camping? 
Who were you camping with? Uh, my dad and my mom and my, my little brother. The children said mommy was in the van but didn't come back with us. A pretty significant thing for a, a four-year-old to, to tell a detective. We got in the airplane and the airplane went to Dinosaur National Park. Oh, you went to an airplane yesterday? Charlie's interview is perplexing because he says a lot of things that don't make much sense. Okay, so Charlie, when you guys came home from camping, who came home with you? My dad. And? And my mom stayed at the National National Park. My mom stayed where a Christmas park. There was one particular statement that raised a lot of eyebrows. Mommy is with the crystals. And how some people interpreted that was that the boys had been with their mom um, and she was not alive. Uh, your children are telling our detectives that uh, mom went with you guys last night and that she didn't come back. She did not go with us. They know that she didn't go with us. So your kids lie then? Do your kids lie? Sometimes they do. With children, they're going to go from threads of truth and reality to fantasy. And maybe things that happened long before mom disappeared, they're still in his memory and in his mind sort of fuses together. She was not with us. I didn't leave her at the Pony Express. I didn't just take her out and drop her off or even do anything. I do want the lawyer, because at this point, I definitely want a lawyer. Could have I went and booked him into jail? Yeah, I could have. But we wanted to find Susan, so we were putting a GPS tracker on his van. We want him to be out and about and see where he goes. Instead of picking up his van, he went to the airport. He rented a Ford Focus. And he vanishes in that rental car for 18 hours. And when he returns that rental car, it has an additional 807 miles on the odometer. To this day, we don't know where Josh went. Very quickly, the police realized that Josh was lying to them, that he was evasive, and he was not acting like a bereaved husband. When detectives spoke with Susan's friends, there was a very different picture of this marriage. She went to see a divorce lawyer, and he told her to make a videotape. Uh, this is me, covering all my bases. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.